welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Aquarians um yes for the Aquarians. I'm looking as if I can't see I swear to God I'm tired let's look at the Aquarians for the week coming up this is going to be the fourth week and the month of May for the Aquarians let's see what's coming out for the Aquarians Some of you are definitely um, protecting yourself, which is good, from a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now, two energies come out. So, um, some of you are definitely protecting yourself, okay? Some of you, um, there is someone, um, there is no celebration that is coming in. Whatever is happening, you're protecting yourself, you Aquarian. So, be aware and align with these energies. You start the week off with the energy of the Six of Wands, and uh, some of you could be waiting on some information. And money is going to be coming in. You're protecting yourself for whatever reason. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Um, whoever this person is, some of you are protecting yourself from this person. Now, there is some hardship. Some of you feel as if there is hardship, but it's going to be over soon. And you are dealing with the Knight of Wands. Now, this Knight of Wands, whoever this person is, this Knight of Wands should pay you some money. There's definitely help that is going to be coming. Some of you are really dealing with some in some situation. There is an overcoming from a situation with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some of you could be um, having a lawsuit with this person and winning the lawsuit, okay? Then um, we have a situation where people are protecting themselves. It could be from your ch children or that sort of a thing some of you are feeling as if you're in some hardship or um you're going through a hard time so let's see now whatever this six of ones is some success is going to be coming out and this is um some success um in the love relationship so some of you were hoping to be in a relationship with someone and this person is going to be saying yes um, this person is going to be returning to you and this is something that you definitely wanted um, to vibrate in so some good news about relationship is coming in um, this is more good news over um, people who wanted to be aligned with other people like you wanted to get married to someone you wanted to um, the ends in marriage with someone and this is going to be very positive for you guys in relationships so good news is coming up for your relationship let's see we have the energy for the nine of Pentacles and some of you there's a transition that is coming in to your financial world whatever this is the sadness is definitely going to be over and uh, um, if you were in financial um, on standard height the sadness is definitely going to be over there's a lot of regrets that some of you have about money whatever has transpired a lot of you have some regrets about money whatever that was playing in your life you can see this energy here that there was sad sadness about money but this is definitely going to be returning and clearing up what is happening with the seven of ones a lot of you are standing your grounds over um, a situation with money so what I'm receiving is that some of you have lent out some money and uh, some of you are trying to retrieve this money and you're standing your ground and as if you're saying you know you need to pay me back because you know it has been a long time you haven't said anything and you need to pay me back okay and you're really standing your ground and this is the energy where the wheel of fortune is coming and you will receive this money because you're standing your ground and you're saying hey um you know whatever you have done um it's not a vital whatever you have done um deceptively whether it's you or you have done it to another person definitely it's as if you're standing your ground and you're saying i'm taking back my reign um whatever the financial situation you have with someone you are standing up and you're saying hey i need to have this money back or uh, yeah i'm going to make some reservation but it is as if the money is coming to you okay let's see the energy of this pisces cancer or scorpion whoever she is um you guys are both in the reverse so it could be a mother and a daughter that it is not you're not seeing eye to eye 
you guys could be mother and daughter that is not seeing eye to eye could be your mother-in-law your daughter-in-law your you guys are just not seeing eye to eye there is just huge conflict that is going to be happening and some of you are going to decide to walk away from the situation whether it's a mother-in-law and get re receiving the energy as a mother-in-law but it could also be your mom because whatever the situation is is that there is not going to be a resolution it's as if people think because if you notice the the energy of the three three of the the number three energy comes up and that means the um, you're not working to resolve whatever the, the the situation is um some of you think i'm i'm letting this go i'm not resolving it and this you can see it could be a girlfriend that some of you have a Pisces cancer or a scorpion girlfriend and it's as if no I really don't want to resolve whatever it could be um, miscommunication whatever the situation that is you're deciding I'm closing the door to the situation now the five some of you are having some really hardship with the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a Pisces. It could be your mom that is having some hardship at this time and she needs some help. Okay. So I'm seeing this is coming up as your mom, or it could be just someone who is in a, a, um, some hardship. And it's as if there, there, there is, it's not as if they have financial hardship. It is as if uh, there's a situation with a family and they're really hurting. So it could be that someone is sick, someone is passing away they could be hurting from the situation and you're going to be there to support them okay it could be a mom it could be a friend it could be the neighbor it could be your grandma whoever this person is the they they you're going to be there to help them out of the situation some of you are dealing with the knight of wands is an uh, aries leo or sagittarius and you really want to get rid of this person um however this person play in your life it could be your father there is a transition that is coming in definitely because you want to release yourself of this person this person could be a partner which is your husband ex-husband or whoever this person is coming up you really want to release this person out of your life because you realize that they have created so much lies and deception that you no longer wants to vibrate with them and the truth is coming out about them so here it is it's as if you are finally getting rid of this person out of your life because you're realizing that this person has created so much illusions and all the illusions and the lies are coming out and you are deciding to move away from this person definitely there was some negative energies that was blocking this negative energies is over um some this this man could be doing it or you could have done it also so it could be coming from vice versa that you guys were doing it to someone else it is really coming to an end because it's as if whatever the situation is it's as if people in our authority have seen what has transpired and they are cutting the bs away they're definitely cutting the bs away so whatever that was transpiring um they're definitely cutting the bs away um for um because some of you were dealing with this person whoever this um this aries leo or sagittarius this is an older person but you have realized that this person is um so deceiving and uh, um this person has created so much deceptive situation that you're releasing this so it is a week where there's a lot of releasing there's good relationship um situations that is coming up really good news um um if you're looking for a relationship where you're open your relationship is going to be better there's going to be healing coming in your relationship people who were going through financial situation there is a transition that is coming in the sadness is going to be over people are trying to protect themselves and protect what they have and it's as if the universe the wheel of fortune is coming in to bring some luck to bring back some luck in some of you lives so some of you who have a situation with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra this could be a girlfriend and her mom and this sort of energy you're just not seeing eye to eye with them and you're cutting them it could be your mom and your sibling your sisters and your mom and your sister or your sister and your mom however the way this situation play or it could be a girlfriend but the Aquarius and the Pisces this is like a mother a child situation and you're deciding I no longer want to deal with these people could have been your best friend 
um, when and you realize what has transpired and you no longer want to do with that some of you are definitely going to be there for an older person this is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person is really going to choose a hard time at this moment and um, they're going to be um, appreciative of you being there for them and this is going to be good let's see what the power angels have for you Aquarians they have the two of Ariel so it is important to have balance working multiple jobs projects making work harder you know it is sometimes it's, it's just time to just lay down and don't do anything so you can reconnect with yourself and this is what um, the angels and guy because this is the angel the power angels card that is asking for you guys to do is to take time off take time off and this is going to be good now some of you is um, is round and round round and round and what this is saying is that some of you have not learned a lesson and whatever the situation is is that this lesson is coming round and round round and round until you finally learn this lesson because it's as if something has transpired in your life and it has to do with this this person or it could be someone um, or a work situation or um, where um, the same the same sort of a situation come round and round because you're not learning the lesson so it could be at work it could be with a relationship it could be um, with your parents or uh, whatever it is is a lesson that you need to learn because it's constantly coming round and round so be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring in your life I want to wish you guys a wonderful week namaste until next time